Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Your Own Redis Like Server course. In this video, we'll cover the project recap and also future improvements. Starting with the course recap, we actually started by setting up the basic development environment and also tweaked around the basic TCP server, how the TCP server works and how we can interact and also Redis basics and very basic TDD initialization also so that that will create a base to cover for the, all the rest of the chapters. And on chapter 3, we basically completed the loop of client connection so that we can actually connect from the actual Redis CLI, not even using some mock and all. We are using, uh, to, uh, in the TDD initialization, we are actually connecting again with the TCP server. But overall, to test the very basic commands like set, get, delete and expire, we actually played around by, uh, by directly connecting to our Redis like server from the actual Redis CLI, right? And in chapter 4, we completed the other three commands that is TTL, increment and decrement. And in chapter 5, we covered all the five operations on lists. And in chapter 6, we actually started uh, working on the data persistence. And in chapter 6, we covered the one of the persistence more that is snapshots, RDB. And in chapter 7, we completed second persistence mode that is append only file. And I given a walkthrough of how we can actually complete the append only file mechanism for data persistence for our Redis like server. Yeah, that's all for the whole course recap. And moving on to improvements, again, I just want to highlight yes, I agree, Node.js is not the actual, or at least let's talk in language perspective than JavaScript. JavaScript is not actually meant to write a Redis like server, but for all the JavaScript devs, uh, it will, this course will give you an opportunity for you to understand how the Redis internally can work and what are the underlying architecture, what are the data patterns we can follow to cover all the basic Redis functionality, right? So this is just to leverage the JavaScript so that all the JS devs can understand how Redis can work internally, right? So on to the improvements, as you can see, we can actually add the authentication and authorization layer. So that's like a very first improvement we can cover and also we can cover more data structures like as in uh, we have hash set stream bitmap also all these data structures actually being supported by the original redis server right and also it does support bitmap bit field and also geospatial so these are like the different data structures we haven't covered because that actually sets the same path of what we did for detail increment and also for the list right so we can cover different data structures what the actual redis is supporting and also we can cover transactions yes redis also has something similar to the sql where or even no no sql with the latest mongo version where we can support transactions right so more or less it's the same uh, functionality where we can achieve the same thing in redis also yes officially redis also supports transactions the final improvement what i can think of at this stage is pop up mechanism yes it's the same thing uh, which can be helpful for implementing a real time notifications or sending messages between microservices something like that but again it's kind of a not reliable for sending messages across microservices but it's like a one time thing so you could leverage that also but not for reproduction grid i believe but still there are some companies using that also so yeah so that's all uh, the improvements i can think of but there are so many other like on the architecture level like we can introduce clusters also so that it can be improved on scalability and all but i think uh confined to a one single dev i think yes of course one single dev can achieve a lot but uh as a learning curve just to understand and i think this is a very base setup uh is uh enough to kick start and cover all the other improvements as well yeah that's all. Thank you so much for watching the video. I would highly recommend to start from the first video of this course. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Not only for this specific video, but any video in this course. Make sure you hit the like button. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.